And action. Hi, my name is Daniel. Today, we're going to talk about Oracle fleet patching and provisioning. Those of you that have followed my blog have noticed that I've done a lot of GI patching lately. It has been a lot of fun and I've learned so much. But I talked to my good friend Philippe the other day and he told me that all those things that I've learned, he can help me with that because we have Oracle fleet patching and provisioning that can do that completely automated. So with me here today, I have Philippe Fierens, the product manager for fleet patching and provisioning. He's part of the MMA team, and he can tell me something very cool when it comes to patching GI. Ain't that right, Philippe? Yes. Uh, hi, Daniel. Good morning. Um, indeed, I'm part of the MMA team. You might know uh, the product under a different name because we have the, the habit of renaming our products from time to time. Um, it, was, uh, it used to be called Rapid Home Provisioning. And in uh, 19C, we uh, renamed it to Fleet Patching and Provisioning. And it is doing exactly that. So it provisions new homes. Um, it can uh, provision uh, extra rack nodes. For instance, if you, because I, I saw you, your blog series, you, create, uh, you, you created rack clusters and so on. You can add and automate all that as well. Um, patching, uh, your, your topic upgrading as well it uses it can use auto upgrade to do upgrades and so on and so on all in a centralized repeatable way um, it's really uh, an awesome product to to win plenty of your time back yeah that sounds so so cool so it's not only for gi patching but also for i mean the entire stack and provisioning stuff like that Exactly. Even in the later versions, also extra data patching you can do. So you can patch your storage cells, your InfiniBand and your Rocky switches, your compute nodes. Um, it can patch the whole uh, Red Oracle stack. And it's very customizable. You can have pre and post scripts. Um, so yeah, your your, your imagination wow. is your limitation, really. It's, 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 so I can just uh, sit back and relax and do all my patching from one centralized place? Yes, exactly. Wow. That's what I'm doing all the time. Look, uh, coffee. <laughs> wow, cool. Do you have a demo? Can you show me how it works? I, can, I have a demo. I have a demo. So basically, uh, what we will do here, we will do a rolling patching of a two-node rack cluster um, of, of the GI. Yeah. What we will do here, we patch from uh, 1914 to 1915 in a, in a rolling fashion. And FPP will take care of everything. So. On my right hand side, you see both alerts of the database instances. And here we will start uh, doing the, the move operation because we call it a move. We move from one home to another one. And so we will stop uh, the first instance um, and then uh, do the GI patching. And once that is done, the, um, we, we go to the next, uh, the next leg in the cluster. Do the same thing there. Um, so once the GI uh, has been patched, we start up the database instance again. Uh, by the way, we, we take into account uh, the drain timeout if you would have defined one, and all these things. So we take we take care of all that. And now we are already starting the second node, uh, patching the second node. Second node has been patched all basically with one simple command you don't need to know all uh, all the nitty-gritty details you don't need to know about grid setup and all these things we take care of it it uses the an out of place patching as well so you pre uh, you pre-create your gold image before and those gold images are propagated uh, and provisioned to your uh, to your clusters and then you do your, your your move operation basically. So yeah, that's 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 my demo actually. I have plenty of other demos, but I don't think we have that much time, unfortunately. If you would do some want to do some more reading, there's a blog series also, uh, FPP by example on the MAA blog. Um, you can reach out to me if you have questions. Wow, that sounds so great. I really I'm really interested in this, and I want to dive deep into it and and learn it. I'll put the, the links to the in the description to FPP by example and to Oracle Live Labs, so all of you can can try Oracle fleet patching and provisioning as well. 
Thanks for showing me uh, your product, Philippe, and thanks for taking the time. Yes, uh, but by the way, I forgot something to, to add. So, so we support uh, Oracle Rack databases, single instance, Oracle Restart as well. So, uh, so we, we support the whole the whole stack. Sorry wow. that I didn't mention that. Yeah. So, thanks a lot, uh, Daniel, That's for your great. time, and uh, enjoy the nice weather in Denmark. Thank you. You have a good one, Philippe.